Hey guys, Teton Hasher here. So it's been quite a while since I made a video. Uh, what, four, five months? Um, too long. I, uh, I still answer YouTube comments uh, constantly about my mining enclosures or mining boxes, uh, whatever you want to call them. Um, but nothing's really changed. I've had, you know, tons of comments asking me, hey, are you still using your mining rig boxes, enclosures, whatever you want to call them? Are they still working well? You know, all kinds of good stuff. And I, you know, I answer, just answer yes, and, you know, they're constantly asking me, when's your next video update? And I'm like, you know, I don't know, man. Nothing's really changed. There's nothing new to report. Um, until yesterday. So yesterday, I uh, rebuilt one of my mining boxes. Um, if you remember from my older videos from last year, I had I still have three boxes, but it was this one, the one in the middle. It was um, it was my first attempt. Um, it was too big. It had a little tiny door to get inside. Uh, you know, it was it was my first attempt, and it was poor craftsmanship, and and you know, it's, it wasn't very good. It, the the box works. Don't get me wrong. The mining enclosure, the mining rig enclosure works. The whole concept of it works very well, uh, even here in hot weather in South Florida during the summer. But I did want to improve, and I got a lot of ideas from um, subscribers or you know commenters on YouTube, and you know, and I, I actually decided yesterday to put some of those to test, and they work very well. So anyhow, um, this box. I don't know if I can get a better view here. This box was five foot wide, four foot uh, tall. And, you know, I had that little crappy door, you know, right here. It was just a door that, uh, very small to get into. So I shortened it. I shortened the box by a foot. So it's now three feet high. It is still four feet wide. Um, actually, it was five feet wide, so I shortened it to four feet. I replaced these side panels here. Um, so that I could use this type of filter instead of the square filters. Uh, this design, I basically copied it from this one. Um, because this box is, this little mining box here just works phenomenal. So I basically mimicked this design on this box just in a, just in a larger scale. So... These filters are 24, I'm sorry, 12 by 24 by one inch. So these filters work great. And they're also shaped like a mining rig, like your normal six card or seven card mining rig. So you can get full uh, or better airflow from this size filter. Uh, what else? Um, still the same fan. This fan's about a year old now. It's been on top of this box for almost a year. Um, that's basically it. Oh yeah, and I put a, a, you know, I shortened the, I shortened the uh, mining rig enclosure by a foot, but I put it up on blocks. That was another idea from uh, one of my uh, subscribers. You know, their, their idea was to put it on casters, you know, so I could roll it around in case I needed to, but I never really need to roll it around. I never need to move these boxes, but it is a good idea to get it up off the ground just in case we have some kind of flash flood or another hurricane like we did last year. Uh, so, did that as well. I've got more blocks out here. I'm going to do the rest with the, uh, with this box and the one over here. This one I'm going to start on today, or maybe next weekend, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did to this one. I'm gonna shorten it by a foot, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna get rid of these style filters. You see these square filters? Um, they're too tall 
um, a lot of air gets wasted. Um, a lot of the incoming air gets wasted because they're just so tall. This works a lot better. And I also made a change inside to help regulate airflow. I'll show you that as well. So, inside, it's the same rigs from last year, um, but I put these guys in. Basically, it helps channel the incoming air to go through the filter completely over the cards and out the exhaust. Same with this side. You see how those air filters, they're the exact perfect size of the rigs. So these are much better than those square 20 inch, 20 by 20 uh, air filters I used to use. I just got them up on hinges with a piece of military cord. Sorry about that, I just stuck my finger right in a fan. <laughs> and I can lift it up if I need to get to a rig or whatever. And with these, I don't know what, do you, what I want to call them, shelves or you know air directors, whatever you want to call them, these rigs are running three to four degrees cooler than before, because before, I had those big tall air filters and half, half the fresh air was coming straight up into the fan. It was missing uh, the GPUs. So uh, this redirects that air directly over the cards. It works very, very well. I'm, I've literally seen a three to four degree decrease in temperature on these GPUs just by doing that alone. Not to mention making the making the uh, the mining rig enclosure shorter. There's less air space in here. Um, I had, you know, it was a foot taller so there's that much more air inside here. Decreasing your air space inside the box inc increases airflow big time. So the less air you have inside the enclosure the better it works. You get much better airflow. Like I can feel a huge, nice draft coming through this fan. So yeah, it works, uh, works very well. Now I won't bother showing you temperatures today because it's such a beautiful day here in Florida. Um, you know, the real test is summertime. And I know for a fact that these boxes worked last summer, all summer long, just fine. But this new and improved design is gonna work even better. I mean, I saw it, I saw the increase yesterday after I built this, this new box. But yes, the airflow. Oh, and that's something I wanna bring up. A lot of people are not getting what I'm doing here. So the whole purpose of this mining box is to have fresh air being sucked in through the filters, go through the GPUs, and then up and out the exhaust fan. So you have constant fresh air coming in and constant heat going out. I get a lot of uh, questions on YouTube. Uh, people ask me, oh, are the fans blowing in? Are you filtering the air going out? And I'm like, no, man. <clears throat> not how it is. The filters filter the air going in. They run over the graphics cards. Up and out the exhaust. I get this question every day. I don't understand how people could think it would be the, the exact opposite, but hey, I don't know. Anyhow, hopefully that makes sense.
so yeah um, just a quick uh, again this is just a quick update uh, did this yesterday and after I get done with this video I will probably start on this box I'm gonna replace this side panel and the other side because the holes obviously don't match for the new filters that I want to use because I want to use these style filters not these style so I gotta replace this side replace this side but I'm also gonna shorten the entire enclosure by a foot and I'm gonna put it up on blocks to get up off the ground so I'll probably get started on that today but I'll have to put the rigs in the house and get the mining in the house before I get too crazy and basically this one I'm not doing anything this because this one works so well I'm gonna put this up on blocks that's really all I'm gonna do to it and change the filters somebody also asked me what and where I get these filters I get these filters from Walmart or Lowe's uh, I, I bet Home Depot has them too but they're a dollar a piece they're cheap they're the cheapest filters you can possibly buy and I change them about once a month once every two months give or take it all depends on the pollen season uh, here in Florida we have a high pollen count um, and these filters get clogged up pretty quick when there's pollen in the air um, I don't worry about humidity uh, that's always been a huge question probably the most common question actually is what are you, what are you doing about the humidity I'm not doing nothing man um, the constant heat from the GPUs the constant dry heat from the GPUs seems to burn the humidity away um, I used to worry a lot about it uh, especially since you know I've had thousands of youtubers saying hey man your humidity is gonna ruin your rigs and no that's not the case uh, they've been out here for a year now and there's no sign of that at all um, they're I don't know what I don't know what to say they're, the GPUs look clean they're you know the filter takes care of any dust pollen whatever but as far as humidity I'm not seeing any degradation of the GPUs at all so, so yeah um, that's it for now guys I'll make another video once this box is done and maybe give you more in-depth as far as its measurements and stuff like that um, yeah that's it so I'm not gonna bother showing you temperatures because it's it's winter time here in Florida so it's you know it's the rigs are running cool no matter what even before I did this the rigs were running cool but I did ever since I put those shelves inside or I don't know air redirectors I don't know what the correct name would be um, I did see a three to four degree decrease in t on the GPU t temperatures which was really sweet and uh, come summertime that'll come in real handy so uh, that's it guys signing off I will uh, uh, make some more videos uh, I'll try to anyway um, there was a I don't know if you saw my last video I had a big giant PC enclosure um, that was sitting on this table here and it was going to be a four car rig I did get that done but I did not make a video about it one day I will pull that back out and and display that but uh, this right here is the only rig I have in the house when it was colder um, last week or the week before it actually got down in the 30s and 40s here um, I put this rig in the house to, to keep the house warm <laughs> but uh, us Florida boys we can't handle the cold anyhow that's it guys that's it for now signing off I'll make another video in probably next weekend. Have a good one.